This is headquarters for both Columbia Pictures and Warner Brothers, home of many stars. But this time, the familiar faces were all on the outside. Most had never walked a picket line in their lives and don't need the money. But they showed up to support their fellow actors, 70% of whom earn less than $2,000 a year. At issue is money, a big boost in the minimum wage, but even more important, a share in profits from home video entertainment, such as pay TV and tape cassettes. I think what the actors are saying is, let us have some small piece of that pie, if it's big. Uh, I know that I'm uh, very fortunate in being a member of the 2% of the membership who makes over $50,000 a year. I'm here uh, to complain about that statistic. So this well, is pro mostly for the media, to get the message across to the public. We're starting a new series, and it's <laughs> really a little tough on us because we're supposed to be on the air in September, and we've only got two-thirds of our first show shot. Union officials say a lot of primetime shows scheduled for this fall will be in trouble if the strike lasts just two more weeks.